with my project bag from Lollipop Stitches and I had to have it when I saw the Disney villain. So it's not the Disney villain I am supporting today but uh, my new whip will be in this uh, bag because it fit me. So this is my second five days rotation. Today I am starting Esmeralda from Pink Theatre Pink, uh, also by Hannah Alexander. I'm doing it on 36 count Oaken Linen from Picture This Plus. Here, what I have done. My son do not want to take his nap today, so I have run away upstairs to where I have uh, most of my stash. My whips are downstairs, but here you can see I have my fabric, glasses, and my book and holders for printed cards. When I work, I could switch out, so I did that. Uh, here is a second plus storage. This is uh, holds one of every one of the colors of DMC, and I also had the big box downstairs. Also here is my hint for new closet. I will check back with you later. Um, Happy stitching, and I hope your stitch mania is going fine. Talk to you later. Hi. So it is the first day of working on Esmeralda finish. Uh, I did work a good part here on the oval right here you can see there is a lot of fractional stitches and that's because here her hand comes down so her right comes on I'll work some more on this tomorrow later hi guys uh, it's May the 7th I am just finished my stitching as you can see on my it's my computer connected to the TV you can see that I'm a very big Final Fantasy fan but that's not what we're gonna talk about today here is how far I have gotten today on my Esmeralda from Pinky the Pink uh, did a little bit more on her dress and uh, some more on the oval so uh, my goal was to actually finish finish this oval uh, not the whole just from here and down to where it ends but uh, today I did not that much stitching done. I have done a ton of uh, housework. Uh, I have baked, I have cleaned, I have edited my uh, first Stitch Mania update. And by the way, I'm trying to film without my a cover for my iPad. I have like this protection case that my iPad is inside and it's a little bit hard to get it out but I have done it today to see if the sound is better. And I have got a feedback that there was one that did not hear anything she really tried to bump up the sound but could not hear so 
I just have to say sorry, but I hope this is better now. Tomorrow when I have stitched some more, I will come back to you and you can see what I have done. Hello, it's May the 8th and this is how far I have come today. Uh, there is about 26 uh, rows left to come to the end of the diagonal. I don't think I will have the space before I need to move the Q-snap and for now I don't want to move the Q-snap so when I come to the end of the fabric with the oval then I will start working some more on her dress. So it's not that much to see. Uh, it's a big piece and it takes some time. Uh, today has been a very sunny day so I have not stitched as much as I used to because I have been out in the sun and enjoying the weather. So, but I will check in with you back again tomorrow. So, see you then. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday, May the 9th. This is the fourth day of stitching on Esmeralda by Pinky the Pink. Uh, today I actually feel like I've had have gotten a lot done even though I didn't stitch much but it's because this oval here is uh, the stitches are getting less and less so I have gotten a whole bunch of more rows so that's where I am now and I will check check back with you tomorrow that will be the last day uh, since we had our board game night today, I hope that tomorrow night or evening that I can get a lot of stitching done. See ya! Hi guys! It's May the 10th. That means it's the last day of the vacation. So... Here is actually some picture I have hanging uh, above my kitchen. Very messy kitchen today. Uh, and it, the first two is from Final Fantasy VII and the last two is from two different animes. Really love those pictures, they're really cool and look nice. So, but we're here for the stitching. Esmeralda, I did finish uh, the oval. Uh, if you ever heard of playing Threads Chicken, I did actually play Grind Guard, Q Snap, and Fabric Chicken to get those last uh, two, three rows in. Uh, but when I was so close, I just wanted to get them and I didn't want to move my Q-snap. So I'm just too stubborn for my own good. So, and um, when I had finished the oval, uh, I was thinking of doing another project. And I did, so you will see that afterwards. Uh, this I did in the morning. Uh, in the evening, I then finished uh, this. Um, purple color that is on this side of the page there is some more like over here on the next page but all the purple color that is supposed to be here is there uh, this is actually uh, here the hand will come down and I also started this uh, dark purple color uh, and what I found is that right here there is like half stitches 
that is just uh, uh, one color is on the left top and bottom and the other color is on the right top and bottom so uh, when I did this color I found out if I just when I came to here it was difficult to do the uh, quarter stitches um, over uh, where there is going to be beads so I actually just did the quarter stitches all the way down because they were going all the way down and then I just worked my way up with quarter stitches to where I was and then I continued doing only the full crosses uh, in the middle so it was a little bit like a fill-in except for I have to uh, be cautious about where the beads was going so when I did start uh, this dark purple color uh, I started down here and did some of the half stitches here because here there is also another color so they is like every other of those two colors and then I did work my way up the half stitches with this dark purple just so I don't need to do half stitches on both sides that is really annoying so I got done the half stitches on this side and then I can stitch a row do the half stitches and go back I stitch a row do the half stitches and go back because I do like first a row of 10 stitch and then I go back completing the crosses so that is Esmeralda and the other project I worked on I actually found a, a whip that has been laying a while with almost none stitches it did only have like these stitches here uh, because they are 10 stitch or half stitches and I really didn't like it when I did it first um, but then I watched um, some old videos from Nikki Crafts where she does 10 stitch and it looked really nice uh, plus I did watch uh, Stitching Mommy's Mania update the first one where she has done uh, she has like two two pictures now on four two projects now on 40 count uh, doing 10 stitch one over one and it really got me to wanting to try again doing 10 stitch and see how I feel um, this is actually the length of the picture it's only 50 stitches wide but it is longer down it's a story keep and it's it is the butterfly galore by Jasmine Beckett Griffith charted by uh, heaven and earth designs so I'm still not liking the 10 stitch it might just be that it's uh, only dark colors so far on this white fabric so uh, I will try and work some more on it and get to uh, her face because then I get some lighter colors and then I can see if I really do like it or not so and if I do like it there is a big possibility that uh, some of my other uh, whips that I have not started and uh, are thinking about starting will be started with 10 stitch and I might just where there is dark color I might just do like one extra strand uh, where the dark color is to get a better coverage I will have to see so that was the last day of this rotation thank you for watching uh, I hope the sound is better on this video uh, I think I managed to fix the sound
around but I will have to wait and see when it actually gets uploaded and out. Thank you for watching, uh, thank you for following and uh, I really enjoy these vlogs. I also hope you do and happy stitching. Bye!